young, maverick, entrepreneur, was not afraid to go against the status quo. Dennis was our first franchisee. He took the Remax concept to Kansas City in November of 1975. We weren't considering selling franchises at the time. The Dennis call, that kind of planted the seed. I flew out to Denver to meet Dave Lineker. He walked in, introduced himself. Here he is, a young man, long hair, with a beautiful lady. And I thought, I've just wasted 50% of my net worth. But within a car ride, he totally changed that, and I wanted to become part of what he was. He was the first success story outside of Denver. That gave us the credibility that it wasn't just a unique market in Denver, it also worked in Kansas City. His faith and confidence in what we had done and him actually replicating our success uh, had a tremendous impact on hundreds of potential franchise purchasers. He gave us the momentum then to be a franchisor. He's been a wonderful supporter of the entire network, a mentor to hundreds of broker owners, has expanded quite successfully in several regions. He's a man of his word, and if he says he's gonna do something, he does it. All it takes is a handshake. When you find people like that, and you're still working with them 40 some years later, it's pretty amazing. Frank and Walter were a unique partnership, a very hard-charging, youthful, enthusiastic real estate agent. And Frank, the elder statesman, perhaps of the industry already, with years of experience. I flew up to see them. God, it was cold. It was uh, the middle of the winter. And they showed me their books. He said, uh, Frank, you're broke. I said, we'll make it work. Obviously, Frank was a great salesman. I went back out to the airport to fly home. And I called my partners and said, I think I just made a huge mistake. And as it turned out, it was the single best decision that I've made in the company's history. If an accountant would have made this decision to sell us the franchise, we wouldn't be here today. They were a driving force behind Remax becoming number one in Canada in less than six years. They also bought several regions in the United States, and then eventually, over 20 years ago, decided to take the Remax concept to Europe. So Frank and Walter contribute approximately 38,000 of the Remax agents in the system. It takes a lot of courage to be a pioneer. Every franchisee gambled their fortune, their money, and their future, and put everything on the line to try to make a better environment for top producing agents to have a much better standard of living. The Founders Award is a recognition for a lifetime commitment to building the Remax network for the benefits of the agents.